Here I'm going to show you how to control different video settings in your camera. Once you're logged in, this has to be done on an IP camera. It lets you control a lot more different video settings versus a CVI or other HD over coax camera. In our IP cameras, you can log in as such here, looking at a beautiful lakeshore here, go into setting, and then you can change different video conditions here on a per camera basis. This is on the network, connected to a camera directly to its web server. Um, here I can under, go under conditions and change picture brightness, contrast, exposure, backlight, light balance, day and night settings. This actually lets you control how quickly it switches from day and night, how many seconds delay there is, uh, if it senses that there's darkness versus uh, light. And then of course you can control IR light. Um, here I'm going to show you the different IR controls it has. Many of our IP cameras now, um, 2018 and on feature, uh, infrared control and you can control either manually intensity of the camera's IR itself or you can turn it off or you can leave it on as a smart IR setting. Uh, in this case since it's not dark you can't really see the different uh, uh, intensities that you can get out of the camera but once you've selected your settings uh, among all these different options then you hit save and it'll save those settings. Uh, in my case I'm going to leave it as smart IR and um, leave it alone. Now also there are profiles if you look on the top. Any changes I'm making here are under that profile and there are three to play with, normal, day and night. Uh, there's further uh, control you have. Under profile management you can force the camera to be under the normal profile. So any changes you apply by going under the normal profile and setting changes would then take control of, uh, of the camera. The camera would use those for its imaging settings. In this case, the way this is uh, configured, it's using full time or all the time a certain profile named day. You could also do that with night. This is similar to normal, but except for just using uh, the word normal as a rule, you're using day or night, and that lets you kind of split it up. Uh, so, for example, if you, the camera was being used in light all the time, you would use the day profile, set its settings, and then save it, and then come under full time and select day, just like we've done it here. So, here under day profile, we've set some settings. And we go under full time and force the camera to use the day profile all the time. You can also schedule profiles based on this uh, uh, timeline here. You can specify first to the camera when your day and night cycles are. And once you do that, hit save. So the orange part is day, the black part is night. Hit save on that. And then any um, profile changes you do for day and night, it'll use these rules. So you can set custom settings. Let's say, for example, you can have the day with infrared on and night with infrared off um, for some reason if you want to do that. And then you've got day and night. What it will do is instead of you scheduling and telling it when to have day and night, it uses the camera's photo sensor to switch between day and night profiles. So um, the photo sensor is used to trigger the infrared coming on, but you can also use that here for day and night um, profile adjustments as well. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.